Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna test the Ethereum hash rates of AMD's brand new RX 6600 XT. All right, so we're not gonna waste any time in this video. We're gonna get right to showing what this card can do. This is the MSI Gaming X. I have it over in my test bench here. And I just wanna walk you through what my setup is so you know how I'm showing the results that I'm showing. So I have the 6600 XT in there. And what I have wired up to get the most accurate reading that I can is this card is powered by its own power supply, which you can see right on the bench here. And this power supply is feeding directly to my watt meter, which you'll you'll see up on the screen when I switch cameras. So that means motherboard, CPU, RAM, all that stuff is on its own power supply. And the reason that I did this is because AMD does not report accurately in the software. So it's really important when you're sizing up an AMD GPU, especially when I look how efficient it is, where does it stack up in the lineup of NVIDIA and other AMD GPUs. It's really important to get the most accurate reading at the wall that you can. And traditionally, you probably you know, just maybe get the whole system on a watt meter and then just subtract what you think the GPU is doing based on when it runs idle. But I think doing it this way where the only thing on this power supply is the GPU is gonna give the most accurate reading. So I spent a lot of time dialing in this graphics card by myself with some help of others in the mining community. And I think I got it to a really great place. So we're gonna dive in, I'll show you the results show you the hash rates, show you the wattage, and then give some of my thoughts here at the end. All right, what you see on your screen here first is you see the watt meter I have uh, up above. So that is just the GPU. That is what the GPU is pulling at the wall right now while it's mining Ethereum. And on your screen, you can also see my Hive OS. This is the hash rate that I'm getting out of this card. I'm getting 32.15 mega hash. So again, you can see Hive OS is saying this is only pulling 46 watts in the software. We know that's not accurate. You can see what it's actually pulling up on your screen here. And I'll show you some of the overclock settings that I have uh, here. And I'll say this, I am not a master, not even close to a master of overclocking or undervolting or tweaking AMD GPUs. I'm a little over my head here. That's why I reached out to the community, saw what they were doing. They recommended some other videos of other miners on YouTube. And so that's where I got started, right? That was my starting place. And I tweaked things myself here and there to see where I could shave off a few watts and not really lose much mega hash. So on your screen, that's what I ended up with. I would love for you, if you have this card, copy and paste these settings, tweak them a little bit more. Let me know in the comment section if you can do better. But ultimately where that puts us it puts us at this GPU, and I'll show you here in the minor too, so you can see it running live. This GPU is doing 32.1, right now, six mega hash. And at the wall, as you can see on your screen, it's pulling 72 watts, 71, 72 watts, which is awesome. That means that this card is right in line with the 1660 Ti and the 1660 Super. And so let's do this. Let's look at what they go for retail. So I have a, a couple options that are available. Well, they're listed on Best Buy, they're not available. And you can see the ranges here, what is this going for like 379 up to 480. I'll tell you that this MSI card, I paid a little bit more, I paid like 500 for. So let's just take that and do what we normally do. Let's go ahead and enter it into what's mine. So we know this thing's pulling 72 watts at the wall. And we'll just do like a 10 cent electric rate here. And what do we say? We'll just say this thing cost, uh, let's just say maybe 420 bucks just to get somewhere in the middle. And let's calculate that. So you're looking at $2.15 profit a day and just under a 200 day break even on this GPU. So looking really good. So again, that's what it's doing. It's doing a little over 32 mega hash at 72 watts at the wall, which is which is awesome. I love it. I love my 1660 Ti's and 1660 Supers, and it's nice to see AMD doing something here. Uh, since their 6000 series was 
was a little lacking as far as mining goes. So let's switch over cameras here and we'll just do a quick wrap up. All right, so let's wrap this one up. That is the 6600 XT mining Ethereum, 32 mega hash, 72 watts at the wall, looking really good. Again, in line with really the 1660 Ti and 1660 Supers from Nvidia, with those do on Ethereum. If you have this card, if you've been messing with it, especially if you have the ability to test it at the wall like I did here, let me know the results that you are getting down in the comment section below. I'll say this, I feel like there might be a little bit more to the story of this card. I feel like we can get a little bit more out of it, whether that's a little more mega hash or reducing the wattage. Once this gets in the hands of the right people and the right tools are released, I just have a feeling, just have a feeling that we can get a little bit more out of this based on what I've seen so far and some of the other, other things that the community has tested. But that's it. That's this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining. Join my Discord if you'd like to chat. Link is in the description below. And as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you in the next video.